Y'all, this is it. One of the most iconic Digivices of all time. It's the 25th Digimon anniversary Digivice Color. I can't wait to dive into this box, and trust me, you're going to want to stick around because what's in here is absolutely incredible. It's going to blow your mind if you haven't thought about Digimon in a long time. And if you don't have one yet, it's definitely one you're going to want to get your hands on. So let's dive in and take a look at the Digimon 25th Color Anniversary Reimagined Digivice. So back in 1997, Bandai came out with these incredible Digimon virtual pets. Now, back in the day, they were black and white. They had these little LCD screens on them. Now, a few years later, after these were released, they decided to release a whole new model based off of the Digivice that was part of the Digimon Adventure series. Well, when they released those, they were effectively little Digivices that you would shake. It had a pedometer in it, and as you were shaking it, it would effectively progress the storyline or progress the Digimon on that device. Well, what we've got here today is a reimagined version of that. It's the 25th anniversary, and this time they have done an amazing job. I've been watching videos of this online. This device is killer. This new device is packed with lots of new features. It's packed with the color images. It's got some incredible stuff out there. I, I can't keep talking about it. I just got to dive in. So let's go ahead and take a look. You've got the box here. Another beautiful packaging from Zenon TCG. Thanks, Zenon, for always taking good care of us. Oh, check it out. Look at this. Look at this. In this box is the 25th anniversary. Can't wait. Oh, and I got my Zenon pack in here too. We got to pull that out. Before we dive into too many goodies, let's take a look at the good old Zenon pack. I have recently gotten into the TCG, as you probably know from the videos, because I've been doing a couple of TCG videos, at least the one, I did an unboxing. Uh, that was really cool, a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, either way, the TCG has gotten to be huge for me, so I love seeing the cards that they send over. Who do we got here? Who do we got? I'm pretty sure that's uh, one of Armadillo Mon's evolutions. I don't remember his name though. And uh, no clue what this one is, but it's an option card. And then we got some stickers. What do we get? I don't know who you are. Gamamon! And I don't know who you are either. Someone else. <laughs> Maybe this is one of the Zenin guys. If you know who this is, let me know, because I have no idea. Look at this beautiful packaging. Bandai went all out. Pull this out. This is just packed with nostalgia. Look at this box. It's incredible. You've got your Digivice right there on the front. Look at the beautiful silver and printing. Bandai Namco. Digivice 25th Color Evolution. Let's dive in. Whoa, that is gorgeous. Now, there were basically three different models in this release, and it was this model here, which is just the traditional looking device. They also released a Yamato version and a Tai Chi version, and both of those are orange and blue. Uh, those were gorgeous devices, and they also actually came with like a little crest necklace with all of the different crests on it. Very cool. I opted not to get one of those because uh, I would never wear it, admittedly, and uh, this was a little bit cheaper for me. So <laughs> either way, uh, I am very excited. I had pre-ordered this a long time ago. I cannot wait. Let's open it up. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavier than I expected. Wow. That is so cool. Look at this. That's just incredible. The buttons feel good. The plastic feels really well made, really nice. Let's hear the clacker. There it is. I love it. All right, moment of truth here. Three, two, one. Nothing. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> Sweet. Bandai, look at that. It's kind of like the original LCD. Oh, and it's turned into color. And I guess uh, we get to choose our character. Dope, how neat is this? Gosh, I feel like a little kid on Christmas. I love it. This is just taking me back in time. Now, if I remember properly in the original, you didn't really get to choose which Digimon or which partner you were gonna take with you or, or basically travel with or adventure with, I guess you could say. Uh, so what's neat here, let's take a look. We've got an up and a down button. I'm willing to bet this is back and that's probably a confirmation. So who should we start with? Uh, you know, I really kind of want to go with Agumon. Um, I really dig the Agumon line. 
I I love it. I wish he had a Tyrannomon evolution, admittedly. I'm a Tyrannomon boy. Sorry, guys. I know everyone likes Greymon, but Tyrannomon's where it's at. I don't know. There's this other part of me that wants to run through with uh, Gomimon. Shout out to my buddy, Digi Wario Farms. Um, but, you know, I really love his evolution line. I'm just, uh, I'm, I don't know. Agumon's where it's at for me, and admittedly, Agumon kind of reminds me of my son. So um, that's who we're going to pick. That's who we're going to pick, y'all. What? No way. How cool is this? How cool is this? Oh, check this out. Gorimon, Digivolve 2. Agumon. Oh, and it's vibrating? That's dope. Check that out. Digivise. Oh, so we got an item. Makes sense. I guess you, you know, we're becoming Digidestined, so we got to get an item. All right, I'm going to readjust my camera here just a little bit. All right, here we go. How freaking cool. Look at the beautiful screen. My camera's not doing a great job. I, I can tell it's kind of like going in and out, but that screen is gorgeous. And it's just playing the music in the background. How cool. All right, so I got to shake it to see Agumon walk. Look at that. Oh, how cool. So they're using this like parallax uh, screen or parallax background is what it's called to basically give us to basically give us a little bit of depth perception here. So as he is walking around, they're effectively moving different elements of the background at different speeds. So you can see that we have this like foreground area here that's moving slightly. The background is moving a little bit faster. So it kind of gives you this really cool depth perception. Uh, my wife and I have been working on a video game in Godot 4 for like the last year or so, and so I've learned a lot about parallax backgrounds. It's such a such a fun topic, especially now that I kind of know how they work. All right, so that's our moving technique. If I click back, let's see what this does. Area clear, 283. Doesn't look like it can go up down here. Nothing there. This doesn't do much. It looks like it just shows me the steps in the area, maybe. Uh, although I've not cleared anything, so I'm not sure what it's really referencing. So we've got seven steps. If I hit the top button, nothing takes place. If we go back into the top button, let's see where this takes us. So I can choose Digimon, Map, Recover, Link, Play Mode, Setting, Power Off. So let's check out what Digimon is. So we got a partner list here, and I guess this is where you can change your partner. And Digivolution Bond, yeah, what does change do? Let's see. Can I just change at any given time? Oh, wow. Okay, you can. Check this out. Let's see what Goblin One looks like. Sweet. So I guess you can just change out to any other partner at any given time, it looks like. Let's go back in here and take another look. We're gonna go back to Agumon just for uh, consistency's sake. So if there's change, Digivolution. Let's see what this does. So we can see we've already got Koromon here, Agumon, and then I guess obviously we're not gonna see any of the other ones because I've not unlocked them. That makes sense. What is Bond? Let's take a look. So we're, right now we've got Gabumon selected. It looks like maybe that is his Bond with us. Right now there's nothing there, nothing, no meters. We'll back out here. And let's go ahead and change back to Agumon. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh man, the lights on this are just dope. How neat. Wow, I'm stoked y'all. This is so freaking cool. What else do we have in here? Let's go and take a look at the map. Cool, so right now we're on File Island. Uh, if I press into here, it looks like it allows us to choose. Right now we're in the tropical jungle. It looks like there's a lake. Uh, gear Savannah. Toy Town. Factorial Town. And Infinity Mountain. Cool, this is really neat. It's very similar to uh, some of the original schemes in uh, Digimon World and, and I think in Digimon Adventure as well. All those names sound really familiar back out and maybe we'll go into 
Recover? It's blinked out, so I guess I can't do anything there yet. Blink. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is going to be versus Digivice and versus others. So the others, I believe, you can actually battle against a Digimon color, or you can battle against a Digimon Pendulum color, I'm pretty sure. So uh, I've got a Pendulum color. Let's go grab it. All right, he ought to be trained up. So we're going to go in and do versus others. And my assumption here is, is that we're going to do a battle, connect, and Digimon. So we'll choose Agumon. And we'll get these things connected. Wow, how cool is this? Check that out. Man, this is exciting. Oh, wow. That looks so good. How cool. Come on, Agumon, can you do it? No, no, you can't, but that's okay. That's okay. I would never expect Agumon to beat my Fenrir Lugumon. I've had this Fenrir Lugumon for a long time now. I've been keeping him kind of on ice, but but the Digimon Pendulum Color is still hands down one of my favorites. I've got my Virus Busters in a box behind me, and I'm waiting till all of my friends get theirs in so we can do an unboxing together. It's killing me. It's killing me. <laughs> I can't wait, though. He just got one of his notices today that is in, that is Zen in order ship, so... Hopefully within the next two weeks, we can start an unboxing on that. Uh, but let's go dive back into our Digivice here. So what else have we got? Verse others. And then if we do the verse Digivice, obviously that would be against other Digivices, right? Uh, but it looks like that's all we've got in here. What are our other options? Play mode. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so we've got Digivolution viewer. Let's see what you are. So basically you just look through and see our Digimons that have evolved or their evolutions, I guess. Sound. Oh, I was expecting settings, not uh, other characters. Oh, very cool. So I guess you can just hear their sounds uh, at any given time. That's neat. Oh, what is this? Oh, how cool. You've got the different music. Uh, that's really dope. So we got Braveheart. <laughs> this is just so cool. I never in my wildest dreams when I was a kid would have thought that I'd have one of these. This is this is mind-boggling. This is so dope. Let's see what else we got. Play mode, settings. Settings, I'm going to assume, is actually going to give me real sound volume. Yep. And then we got brightness there. Uh, LED. Ooh, what is LED? Oh, I bet the LEDs are just these. Yep, yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. Sweet. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Vibration. Nope, we want to leave that on. Clock settings. So well, my clock is fine. Step speed. So I think this is where it will allow you to adjust. Yeah. So you can basically have your step speed be times five. You know, I think this is actually really important. The ability to sit somewhere and shake this, it just opens up options for so many people. So I think this was a, a beautiful, beautiful decision. Uh, gives a lot of accessibility to folks that otherwise wouldn't be able to really play with this. And I think that's such a great inclusion. Uh, that being said, I do wish that they had the ability to potentially slow the step counter down. So um, that would be another awesome option, I think. If you wanted to really take your time with this, instead of there being a times five, what if there was a times 0.5 or something? Uh, maybe even consider that like an unlockable mode, right? Like a hard mode or something. I think that'd be kind of cool. Either way, we're going to turn that off for my taste. Uh, clear all. I would assume that's like a reset. Reset. Makes sense. Uh, so let's go ahead and get out of here. We've seen everything. And we got a power off. So I think that's everything just about. Um, so with where we're at, uh, I guess we would have to do a little bit of walking. We have to do a little bit of walking. Um, I don't think I can trigger battles yet or anything like that, as far as I'm aware. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side because there's a little bit more that I want to dive into right here. So anyways, we got a charging cable. Makes sense. Um, one of those little cheap USB-C cables. But what I really want to see, yes, here it is. Oh, tape, get off of my card. That's what I wanted. Look at this. How freaking cool. Oh, now, admittedly, I didn't know it was in Japanese. I thought that there was an English version. I did, um, opening this up, because there's not. Oh man, that's a bit of a bummer. Because this is in Japanese, I can't actually play with it at my locals, uh, because you, you have to play with the English cards. So that's kind of a bummer. I was really hoping that this would be in English. I 
thought that I had seen some that were, um, and I was going to add it to a deck, if anything, just because I know nobody else around here is going to have one of these, so it would have been pretty cool, uh, but that's okay. It's a really cool collection piece either way, and I think the cards are something I'm definitely starting to collect. It's like the Digimon universe just keeps giving back and back to me between Digivices and V-Pets and the card games, and now I've been playing through Digimon World 3. It's a blast. My friend Corey and Connor always make the joke that Digimon just keeps giving, and I really feel like that has been the truth. I've met some amazing people getting back into this hobby and I've gotten some really freaking cool devices, right? So in my excitement to dive into this device last night, I didn't really showcase everything I wanted to and I've been playing around with it today and I decided I wanted to come back and kind of edit this video a little bit more and show you some of the really cool stuff I found. So check this out. So like I said, I've been playing around a little bit more. I love that every time I turn this thing on, whoever I'm playing with is basically like, yo, what's up, man? I, I think that's super, super cool. Uh, anyway, so what I did not discover last time is that if you press the up button here, you basically go into an area where you're able to see like the battery and you're also able to see what time it is. And then if you click the back button to get out of here and you go down, you get this awesome little thing where you've got uh, basically your Digimon and a random partner Digimon, uh, at least I believe it's just the partners, um, hanging out. And like in this case, they're eating some bananas or it looks like some melons. You can switch over to the Digivice if you want to. Uh, back to bananas, right? My understanding is these are basically the items that you pick up that are random drops whenever you beat certain challenges, whether they're the bosses or the friend meetups or what have you. If you press the up button, check that out. You get these cool little nifty like you know, close-ups of the Digimon. Press it again and you're gonna get the other one. I think that's really freaking cool. What a nice little addition. I wish that you could like click a button here and have them actually eat whatever it is that's out. I think that would be really cool. Or even if it was just like playing around with the Digivice or something. Uh, but if you hit down again, this is like a running mode. So it's like the Digimon are just running back and forth. And I'm willing to bet that there are items they will probably interact with here. Uh, knowing that you can unlock items that interact at the picnic table, there's probably something here too. Um, I just don't think I've seen it yet. Now I know at the campfire, you unlock other items. Now I know at the campfire, this one here, you actually do unlock additional items. I'm pretty sure I've seen in some of the other videos out there that people have done with these devices that there's like some sleeping bags or pillows or something like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's something you can unlock as well, but how freaking cool is that? And I got all the homies here too. I decided to set everyone up. So all of the originals and if you'll notice, I popped out a Greymon because I unlocked the evolution for Greymon. So I want to show everybody kind of what that looks like. So basically, if we are in an area where we need to battle, and what we're going to do is go here into map, and I'm going to show you something that kind of threw me off a little bit. So you have to click in to basically select file island. Now, once you've done that, if you go into, let's say for instance, tropical land here, you'll notice how this is zero out of 300. My guess is, is that means that there's 300 steps and you have taken zero out of 300. But I don't know, I kind of wish that that wasn't there. It get, I don't know, it just throws me off a little bit. But you can see I've got the check mark there basically letting me know that I have cleared the event. And when it comes to the battles, there are basically three different types of battles that I've discovered at least. So there's one where you, basically it's a button masher, like you just hit this top button as fast as you can. There's another one where it's a shake, so you shake the device as fast as you can. And then the last one that I've encountered is basically like a button combo masher. So like sometimes it's this one or that one or these two, but it seems to always at least be four buttons that you have to press. The only thing I kind of don't like about that one is that if you've got the sound turned off, it's not always obvious that it registered. So when it registers with the sound on, there's this like ka kind of noise. <laughs> if the sound's not on though, uh, as far as I can tell, I wasn't able to really determine, like there were times when it was this button twice and it just got me, I didn't expect that. Uh, but I thought it'd be cool if I went ahead and showed off a battle and showed an evolution. So let's go down here to Lake and what we'll do is we'll do the boss Seedramon. So we're going to have to sit here and I'm going to shake it. I did turn up the shaker on it. So this is the five times speed so that way you can kind of see how quick it is, right? Now, pro tip on this, if you did not know, uh, if you get sick of hearing butterfly over and over and over and over, <laughs> which I can't say that I did, uh, but I know that it does happen because it just plays nonstop. Uh, you can hold the top button basically for a few seconds and the background music does turn off. So that's a nice little feature that I didn't know about. It's kind of hidden if you ask me. Uh, shout out to the DDUK Discord because uh, I had to go searching in there. Someone answered that question for me already. <laughs> 
All right, so we got the fight. Awesome. Let's see what it's going to be. So whenever an event takes place like this, whether it's a fight or one of the friendly events, you basically hit the top button and it will initiate. If you hit the bottom button, it just turns your screen black. So it's basically allowing you to wait for later. Now this is the button masher. So we'll just go ahead and click this and we'll select Greymon. Check that out. How cool is this? I love it. I love the way that the LEDs like light up. I just think that looks so cool. And we got our Greymon. Look at how amazing the sprites are for this device. I, I don't know if they're the vital bracelet sprites. I don't think that they are, or maybe some of them are, and they just made new ones to that standard. Uh, but gosh, look at these. It's just so dope, so incredible. All right, so pro tip as well. You basically want to start hitting this button the moment their character starts firing is what I found. That seems to help me the most. If I wait, then I almost never get it, it seems like. Nice, Greymon. Oh yeah, I chose my buddy Numamon. <laughs> Numamon for the win. Throw in the poo. So this is something I was gonna show you momentarily, but I'm glad that I went ahead and showed it off. Once you have beat bosses or once you have beat certain events, it basically unlocks those Digimon to be friends. So what you can do is you can actually go into the friend menu that I'll show you here in a moment, and you're able to choose or star a friend. And from what I can tell, they basically just aid you in battle. So they'll show up and attack immediately afterwards. And occasionally I've noticed there'll be a partner on the screen with their Digimon. And uh, when they're on the screen, they do walk with you. And then when you get into a boss fight, they'll be basically the second attacker, as long as you get your first attack in from what I can tell. So what that menu looks like here is if you go into your main menu, typically, I was on the map, so I went back, which takes me into this little main menu. You can go into Digimon. And then from here, the partner selection is where you're able to change your partner. If you scroll down though, there's the friend. And this is where you basically have all of the Digimon that you have beaten. Now you can see I got in quite a good walk today. Uh, I made it pretty far as far as I'm concerned. We went on a really nice little outside hike since it finally cleared up a little bit. And uh, you can see I got Andromon, I've got Numamon, and I have him starred. So if I wanted to change to say Marimon, just click that and the star changes. And now if I go into another battle, you're basically going to see that Marimon show up to help aid you. So just a really cool feature, I think. All right, back to you, Pass Adam. All right, everybody. So I wanted to give some final thoughts on my Digivice 25th color anniversary, uh, kind of give it a review because I'm about two weeks into it now, uh, maybe a week and a half, actually. So um, I, I don't know how far I've made it. Um, I took it to Texas with me while I was on my trip and I've been doing a little bit of walking, you know, trying to at least when I'm not in training. And uh, I got to say so far, it's been an absolute blast. I really love this thing. It's a lot of fun. It's got a lot of really unique kind of gameplay to it that's kept me really interested. And I don't know if this is exactly how it works, but I think that you have to basically switch through every tamer or every Digi Destin's Digimon and then unlock their evolution lines. So as far as I can tell, I've only unlocked up to Metal Greymon, but I've not unlocked anybody else's. So that's really, really cool. I think it's going to cause there to be a lot of replayability, at least if it's working the way that I think it does. Uh, but I got to admit, there's a part of me that misses the like the pet aspect of it. There's not really any taking care of the Digimon. You play what you want to play, which is really nice uh, because you don't have to worry about care mistakes and missed evolution lines and things like that. But at the same time, there is a certain element of that that I wish was there. It would be so cool if there was like a different play mode where you did take care of them, or maybe even when you're like actually doing the uh, picnic stuff, like you could basically go in and uh, feed them different food or use the different items that you get because there are these different items, but they don't really do much other than aesthetic purposes. So I think it'd be really cool if they did that. Um, I do think it would be really neat if there was some sort of a Wi-Fi component to them, so that way you could battle remotely or download updates or, you know, things like that. Uh, but it, it's all good. I think, honestly, this is for me. If you are a Digimon fan, if you watch the show, if you want to get into the Digivices, this thing is the best that there is. I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, the only reason I would deduct a point, really, is just because there's certain features that I feel like in 2024 are a must-have. The ability to connect to Wi-Fi is one. The ability to potentially produce DLC is 
is another one. Um, the fact that this is just a standalone device, a bit of a bummer, but not a whole lot. So either way, if you like Digimon and you've never had a Digivice, you need to get one. You got to get your hands on one. You got to get out there and go adventuring and you'll have a blast. Become a Digi Destined. All right. Well, I think that'll be it for the Digimon 25th anniversary Digivice color reimagine, whatever you want to call it, this thing. I love it. You'll love it. You should go check one out and you should get your hands on one if you can. Um, but if you can't, I'll be doing some videos and I know a bunch of other people have, so you can definitely live through us. Um, but anyways, I hope you all are taking care of yourselves or hope you're doing all right. And I'll catch you next time.